Hey guys, welcome back. I am looking forward to today's video because I want to talk to you guys a little bit about minimalism. If you have been following me, you know that I am a recovering non-budgeter, meaning I never really used to care about my finances that much. I never looked at the numbers, but that recently all changed. Thank God. And now my husband and I are on the road to becoming debt free in August of next year. So we have actually paid off $18,000 worth of debt in the last five months. And now none of this really would have been possible if neither of us practice minimalism. So for today's video, I am going to share with you 50 things we don't spend money on at all and things that we seriously cut back on. Our minimalistic approach toward life has been unexpectedly empowering and life-changing. So if you are looking forward to this video, give it a thumbs up and we're gonna get right into it. Oh, and real quick, just as a disclaimer, I am certainly not telling you guys what you should and should not buy, how you should and should not live. I'm simply sharing with you the things that we completely stop buying and the things that we cut back on based on our personal goals and lifestyle. So here we go. Here are 50 things that we don't spend money on or have stopped spending so much money on. Number one is gym memberships. There was a time in our married lives where we were spending close to $400 a month on things like CrossFit and really nice gyms. Now, neither of us go to any gym anymore. We stopped going to CrossFit, even though it was awesome, it's just super expensive. We work out at home now. We have a pull-up bar in our garage and I work out to Kayla Itzinas' BBG program within her sweat app. And I also made a video about that, so if any of you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it up above. But we literally hardly spend any money on things like working out and gym memberships now. Number two is restaurants. So there was a time where we would completely mindlessly go out to eat or order takeout from restaurants. When we started budgeting and looking at our bank statements and we added up every single time we went out to eat or ordered food, it was a lot of money. And that's where we were like, okay, this needs to stop. We have to completely cut back on this. It has to fall within our budget. Number three is booze and alcohol. So neither of us have ever been really big drinkers, so I think that helps. But when you stop going out to eat as much and you stop going out to restaurants, you stop spending so much money on drinks because that's why your bill is usually huge when you go out to eat because you ordered a few drinks. So we hardly do that anymore. We don't usually go out and buy alcohol to have in the house. It's just not something either of us do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. We just don't do that. So we really don't spend that much money at all on alcohol. Number four is pit stop snacks and drinks. So my husband and I, when we used to just hop in the car to go somewhere like run an errand or just drive anywhere, we'd be like, oh, I'm thirsty. Let's stop and get seltzer waters. Let's stop and grab snacks. So this is something we've completely stopped doing. We never stop anymore to buy like little snacks or just a random drink here and there. We really try to remember to bring everything with us. Number five is coffee. I never bought coffee, I am not a coffee drinker, but my husband used to buy coffee every single day. And instead of coffee now, he drinks tea, so we have tea in the house at all times. So he will now make tea in the morning, put it in an insulated thermos and bring it to work. Number six is smoothies. This is something that I used to spend a lot of money on because I just freaking love smoothies, but being able to make my own smoothies at home now and being able to put my own ingredients in it just makes way more sense to me and it saves a ton of money. Number seven is bottled water. We don't drink tap water really, we never did. So instead I would buy jugs of Poland Springs or whatever water was at the grocery store and I'd be buying like jug after jug after jug, just spending a lot of money on that and we eventually ended up just ordering Poland Springs delivery. And also we do not buy plastic water bottles. I usually drink my water out of a bottle like this. This is a bottle, the brand is Simple Modern, uh, but it's BPA free, it's easy to carry around. As a super busy mother running around after a toddler every day, I like forget to drink water all the time. So having something like this is really awesome. I love this water bottle. I'll link this down below if you guys I think it's pretty, it's blue and pink, I like it. Number eight is clothing. So I recently Marie kondo the shit out of my closet, meaning I got rid of a lot of stuff that I never used to wear. 
and now I just have a certain amount of clothing left. And for me, that's all I need. And I've completely stopped buying clothing at this point. And my husband like never bought clothing. He's still wearing shirts from like fourth grade. But I just don't buy clothing anymore for myself unless I desperately need it. Like if there's a wedding coming up and I don't have a dress or I don't have a certain thing, I'm not going out to Marshalls anymore. I'm not going to these clothing stores to buy clothing for random reasons just because I wanted a new shirt. Number nine is shoes and heels. I just don't buy those things unless I desperately need them. But as a mom right now, I don't wear heels and I have a pair of sneakers. So I'm like, I'm good. Like I have what I need. Number 10 is bags and purses. I'm not interested in them. To me, I just think they're super annoying. So my life is actually inside of this backpack because I have a two-year-old son. I just carry this around everywhere, the playground, every store we're in. I have his diapers in here. I have everything I need for when we are out together. So that is like my life right there in that one backpack. Number 11 is jewelry. Again, this is something I just don't spend money on. Every piece of jewelry I own was a gift given to me by my mom usually. I just don't buy jewelry. My husband doesn't buy watches or anything like that. Number 12 is seasonal decor. Now I love being in a house that is decorated for the season and they have all different kinds of decorations and different placemats and all that stuff. But for me, I'm like, I just don't have the time and the patience to do that. I can't justify spending money on seasonal decor. So we have what we have in our house as decorations and that's kind of what stays year round. Number 13 is knickknacks. And this sort of falls along the same lines as seasonal decor. Like I have stuff in my house that I bought a long time ago, like those random ass knickknacks behind me. And those aren't ever really gonna change. I'm not gonna go out and buy more knickknacks for a random reason. Number 14 is Amazon. We hardly spend money on Amazon, and if we do, it's because we had to buy something that we couldn't find in a store. We only use Amazon now if we desperately need something that we can't find elsewhere. Number 15 is impulse buys and random things. This just kind of falls along the same lines as the last few things I talked about, but we don't just buy anything on an impulse anymore, and we don't buy random stuff we don't need. Number 16 is discounted and sale items. If something costs a thousand dollars and it is on sale for 700 and you decide to buy it, you did not save $300, you spent $700. So we just don't do that. I think a lot of people waste money buying things that are on sale or discounted. Number 17 is the latest and greatest technology. And this again is something we don't spend money on at all. So when the latest iPhone comes out or a new iPad comes out, like I don't even know what's out there. I don't know what the latest technology is because we're just not interested. It's to us, it just seems like it's a waste of money. So that is something we don't spend a penny on. Number 18 is gifts or presents. So my husband and I do not buy each other gifts or presents for any holiday, for any reason. When we started budgeting and we realized how quickly we could pay off our debt, we said to each other like, all right, that's it. Like we're done. We're not buying each other stuff anymore because we don't need anything. And my son is a different story. So when it's his birthday or when we have holidays, he's gonna get gifts because I want him to get gifts. I'm not gonna take that away from him. But my husband and I, we do not buy each other gifts anymore. Number 19 is haircuts. So this is something that I have completely stopped spending money on. If you can't tell, but my husband does go and get his hair cut. We have been talking about me trying to learn how to cut his hair just to save money. And I cut my own hair. You might be able to tell that as well. It is like certainly split and all over the place right now, but I don't spend money on getting my hair cut, getting my hair dyed. If there's anything I can do myself, I will. Number 20 is salon services. So these are things like getting your eyebrows done, your mustache waxed, whatever. And maybe you can tell that I don't do any of that stuff either. I never have, that's never been for me. That's not my thing. And obviously my husband doesn't really do that stuff either. So we don't spend money on that stuff at all. Number 21 is makeup. And this kind of falls along salon services for me. Like it's something I don't really know much about, but I do have a makeup bag. I can't tell you what's in it. I will show you that I do have all this crap. The stuff in my bag here is years old, like from stores that aren't even open anymore. 
I don't know what half of this stuff does. I don't know how to do my makeup. So it's just not something that I spend money on. And I love makeup. I love watching makeup tutorials. And I wish to God that I could sit with James Charles and have him do my makeup. But it's just not something that I spend money on. Number 22 is makeup remover. So I used to spend a lot of money on those makeup, like Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. And ever since I had my son, I've been super into like reading labels and finding out more about chemicals and fragrances and all that stuff. So I completely stopped buying makeup remover and I literally use organic coconut oil for everything. I take my makeup off with this. I cook with this. Coconut oil and lotion can take your makeup off like freaking magic. Number 23 is baby products. So my son is going to be two. He's not really a baby anymore but we never spent money on baby products like lotions and creams and all this stuff that we were able to survive without. So again, like anytime he had a rash or whatever, I would use the coconut oil. If his skin was dry, I was using coconut oil. And we're kind of the same now. Like I hardly ever buy him products. He's got his diapers and his clothes and he's good to go. Number 24 is perfume and cologne. We don't spend money on this stuff whatsoever because again, that kind of ties into the whole like fragrance thing. So we don't buy that stuff or wear that stuff really anymore. Number 25 is nail polish. I used to love nail polish. Every time I went to CVS or went to the grocery store, I would look at the nail polish rack and get the color that I didn't have yet. So over the years, I've been able to rack up a lot of nail polish and I don't use that anymore. I think I've painted my nails once in the last few years. But when you have a kid, especially a fast little toddler. I don't know about you guys. Like I hardly do my hair, my makeup and my nails anymore. Like up out of bed dress. Let's go. Number 26 is body wash. This is something we completely stopped buying because we were going through it really fast. So now we buy bars of soap instead and it lasts way, 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 way longer. Number 27 is shaving cream. I feel like I've never really understood the point of shaving cream. It's not something I ever used. I'm always just using soap or it, when I was buying body wash, I'm using that stuff when I shave. So we don't buy shaving cream. Number 28 is paper towels. I don't buy paper towels anymore because I was buying them a lot. And when we started budgeting, that was another thing that I looked at and I was like, we are flying through paper towels. So we just use rags now. Like I have rags in my kitchen, like dish towels. I have a ton of clean ones hanging around. So when we need to clean up a mess or I have to like wipe my son's hands or his face, I'm using these cloths and then we're just washing them and using them again. Number 29 is cleaning products. So when I did start to get into this whole like no fragrance, no harsh chemical thing, I also looked into natural cleaners. So I don't buy things like all those bathroom sprays and bleaches that smell really, really strong. So instead I have this spray bottle. It was like an old bottle of Windex that I washed out and I just wrote on it natural all purpose cleaner. So whoever used it knew what it was, but this is a mixture of vinegar, water and lemon juice. And I'm going to link down below the recipe that I use for this, but I honestly use this for everything. This makes the fixtures in my bathrooms and in my kitchen shine brighter than I've ever seen before. So I wash out our tub with this. Like I use this for everything. It's amazing. Number 30 is fragrance items. So these are things like air fresheners and diffusers and candles. I stopped buying those again because of the fragrance thing. So we don't spend money on that stuff either. Number 31 is harsh detergent. So this is like clothing detergent and soap that we use for the dishwasher. I was buying like generic random stuff that I could find at the store, but now everything I buy is like chemical free, scent free, dye free. And a lot of the time that is even cheaper than the stronger smelling stuff. So I completely stopped buying anything with harsh chemicals in it. Number 32 is dryer sheets. So we don't buy dryer sheets at all anymore because dryer sheets actually have harsh chemicals in them that can stick to your clothing in the dryer. So then when you put your clothing on, you're breathing that in and it's touching your skin and it can create health problems sometimes and it can even trigger asthma in some people. So I stopped buying that altogether. Some people use like cotton balls that they'll throw into the dryer, but I dry all the clothes without anything in there and they're totally fine. Number 33 is plastic toothbrushes. 
Now this obviously isn't something that was like breaking our budget, but we stopped buying plastic toothbrushes. We just use electric toothbrushes. I honestly think this is just like the CVS brand and I freaking love it. I never used an electric toothbrush before this year and I'm kind of pumped I bought this. I will always use electric toothbrushes from now on. Number 34 is mouthwash. We don't buy mouthwash anymore. My husband used to love it. I don't know if he was like chugging it secretly in the bathroom by himself, but we just don't buy it. I don't see a need for it. We brush our teeth, we take care of our mouths. We just don't buy mouthwash. Number 35 is dairy. So we are essentially a dairy-free family. So I used to buy milk and yogurt and cheese all the time. My husband and I used to crush things of yogurt every night with like granola and chocolate chips and all that stuff. And we just don't eat dairy here. It's just our personal preference. We will have an occasional pizza when we go out randomly, but I don't have milk, cream, cream cheese, yogurt in my house. So yeah, we are that house that probably won't have cream for your coffee, but sorry. Number 36 is soda and juice. Now this is something we have never spent money on. I do not buy soda, we do not buy juice, like we don't even buy orange juice, we don't buy fruit juices because they're super high in sugar. So sodas and juices, never spend a penny on. Number 37 is bad meats. Now I would love to become vegetarian, I just haven't put the time in to figuring that out yet. If you are a vegetarian, please leave me some comments below like teaching me how to start because I wanna stop buying meat. But when I buy meat now, I'm buying organic meat because my husband and I are eating it, my son is eating it. And I actually just recently went to Aldi and they had super, super cheap organic meat and I was so pumped about that. Number 38 is processed foods. Now these are things that typically come in a bag or a box. So for example, we used to buy Cheez-Its and Smart Food and crackers and Triscuits and anything that you would see on the chip shelf or the cracker shelf. And we don't buy that stuff at all anymore. I mainly shop the outskirts of the grocery store and I actually have a video about me grocery shopping. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it up above but we don't buy processed foods really anymore. I will buy like one package of those like crispy snap pea things or sometimes I'll get little paleo puffs that I can give to my son if he ever just needs a random snack, but we don't buy crackers and cookies and things that come in bags or boxes. Number 39 is prepared foods and prepared dinners. We don't spend money on this whatsoever, we never have. And it's funny because I remember being little and grocery shopping with my mom and begging her to get me a TV dinner. I was like, I want a freaking TV dinner. I want the little brownie in there. I want the toy that comes with it. And I was always so mad at her that she wouldn't let us get a TV dinner. But like, now I get it. That stuff is full of salt, it's full of crap. So we don't spend money on prepared foods. Number 40 is ingredients for specific recipes. So there was a time when I was trying to meal plan for every single day of the week and then I was going out and buying the ingredients for every meal that I had planned out. And the bill was coming to like 250 or more because I was buying like random ass vegetables and random spices and things that I would honestly never use again. So I don't really do that anymore. I kind of buy the same thing every week and like mix and match ingredients so we're not eating the same meals all the time but I don't buy specific ingredients for specific meals really anymore. Number 41 is salad dressing. I don't really buy salad dressings. When I eat salad, which is like all the time, I'm putting typically organic olive oil on it and then a little bit of salt. I haven't eaten salad dressing in, I wanna say a few years, so I don't spend money on that. Number 42 is dishes and kitchen stuff. So in our kitchen, we have the appliances we need, we have the silverware we need, and to us, like that's enough. So I'm never going to Home Goods and buying like brand new bowls and brand new plates just because they look cool or I felt like buying something new. We have what we have and that's all we need and we don't buy any more than that. Number 43 is cable. Now we have gone back and forth with cable over the past few years. We've had it, then we haven't had it, and then we get it back again. And we're at a point right now where we just recently cut cable again because 
It was just way too much money every single month. And we honestly just watch Netflix. Number 44 is new books. When I go and buy books, I usually go to a thrift store or I will buy them used offline. And I try to spend $10 or less per book. Number 45 is kids toys. I have an almost two year old son and he has his toys downstairs and in his room, but they are typically toys that someone gave to him on a birthday or a holiday, or they're random toys that we bought like months ago. So I don't go out and buy him new stuff that often. And he's at an age still, thank God, where I can give him like a cardboard box and he's pumped. Number 46 is home improvement. So we recently bought a house and it needs work. And yes, that can swallow your budget. Home improvement sucks. So when it comes to home improvement and things like painting, windows, fixing the floors, we try to do every single thing ourselves. So we save a lot of money when it comes to home improvement. Number 47 is movies. So again, we just watch Netflix all the time. We don't go to the movies. We don't spend a lot of money on movies. We're honestly just paying the Netflix subscription and watching TV shows and movies on Netflix. Number 48 is the car wash. It's just not something we use regularly and I would just much rather do it myself. Number 49 is lawn care. So this is things like mulching, weeding, mowing the lawn. That is something that I love to do. I love to be outside, I love to landscape. If you guys caught my side hustle video, I'll link it up here. I show you one of my side gigs, which is landscaping and it's with my dad, so it's cool. But we try not to spend money on that whatsoever. So we will be outside in our own yard doing whatever we can to fix it ourselves. And number 50, last but not least, which in my opinion is the most important thing we stopped using is our credit card. So we completely stopped using our credit card months ago. We're still paying it off, but we stopped using our credit card, which also means we stopped buying things that we truly can't afford. If we don't have the money in our bank account or the cash to pay for something, we're not buying it. And that has honestly helped us pay off our debt as fast as we have so far. And that's what's letting us become debt free by August of next year. So we've completely stopped using our credit card. We will not be using our credit card. And I do encourage you to stop using yours too. So that's it. Those are the 50 things that we either stop spending money on or we spend less money on. So we do try to be like a chemical free, zero waste home, as you may have been able to tell from the 50 things I talked about, but we for sure are not perfect. And I try every single day to be better, but like I'm using plastic bags to put leftovers in. I'm using saran wrap all the time. Like I'm wasting a lot of plastic. We're using a lot of plastic still. And I do want to buy those little like silicone bags that they have that you can put food in for storage. I just haven't really looked into those yet, but we make the conscious effort and decision every single day to live this minimalistic lifestyle so we can achieve our financial goals and our life goals because we have a vision for the life that we want. And we wouldn't be able to achieve the life we desire if we kept spending money on all the stuff that I had just mentioned. And if we kept spending blindly. So thank you very much for watching 50 things I do not buy. And please let me know in the comments down below what you guys have stopped buying or even what you want to stop buying, but you've been having a hard time stopping. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as it really helps me out with this whole YouTube algorithm thing. And I put out new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to click that bell notification button so you don't miss anything. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.